what does it mean to have something be private online? The idea of online privacy, you know, we have to talk about this in the context where we think about who are we trying to hide things from. To some degree, privacy means the idea of keeping something hidden, something that only I know, or having some control over how that information is disseminated. So if you use social networking websites, you've probably seen they have all these privacy features. And to some degree, those are designed to allow you to maintain control over a piece of information when you post it and when you share it with other people. But the best way to think about online privacy is to think about who are you trying to keep things private from? So for example, if I, um, you know, let's say that I am going to a particular website and I want, don't want other people to know that I'm going to that website. Um, so what, who, who could potentially know this? Well, well, one thing that can know this is my browser is clearly aware of what I'm doing. And so do I trust the browser? Let's say this is, I'm not gonna be able to do the Chrome icon properly, right? Oh, actually, not too bad. Um, you know, Chrome probably knows what I'm doing. Chrome has a history of the websites that I visit. I can ask Chrome to not record that information, but is it really gonna do that? So, you know, the first question is, do I trust my browser? Um, and I don't know, it depends on who your browser is. Um, do I trust myself to spell browser? There we go. Um, so do you trust the browser? Keeping things secret from the browser is to some degree impossible. But the question is, who is the browser sharing information with? There are ways to tell the browser not to share that information, but who knows? Maybe when I put it in private mode, it's still sending all that information back to Google. That'd be very difficult for me to figure out. Okay, so do I trust the browser? Am I, am I, can I keep things secret from the browser? Um, then, of course, there's my internet service provider. Now, the internet service provider probably um, has the ability to look at all the traffic that I'm sending back and forth. Um, and if I'm not using a more sophisticated communication network like Tor or something like that, then the packets that I'm sending to this website and the packets that I'm receiving from this website have identifying information in them that would allow somebody to figure out who I'm talking to. So can I hide the fact that I'm going to this website from my ISP? Probably not. Um, again, there are ways to use sophisticated technology uh, to, to get around that, but if I don't use those ways, then the ISP is aware of that. Now, is the ISP going to tell anybody? Is the ISP even storing that information? I don't know, but they are certainly in a position to observe it. And of course, not only that ISP, but every other ISP that um, I have to peer with in order to pass traffic from one place to another. So the internet sees these activities. Okay. Now, to some degree, um, you know, now we start to think about is what am I trying to keep private? Am I trying to keep private the fact that I'm visiting this website or am I trying to keep private the content of my communication? If it's the fact that I'm visiting the website, that's tough. If it's contents that I'm exchanging with that website, then I have some better tools. I can encrypt things from the one end to the other uh, and that encryption may prevent um, the contents from being seen by the ISPs in the middle. So, so, that, so that I could do. Um, now, you know, again, you know, am I, so um, am I trusting my ISP to keep uh, that information uh, safe? What about the site itself? So this is another important thing to remember is that if I'm, um, if I'm trying to keep something private, that website had better cooperate in the process. Now, you know, certain cases, websites that expose or maintain sensitive information have an incentive to do that. So uh, they have incentive to keep that information secret because if they expose it, then the people who are going to those websites who don't want that activity to be uncovered um, may, may stop going to them. But do I trust that this website isn't going to be hacked? Is that website uh, somebody gonna hack into it and expose all the personal information that could include sensitive information or identified information about me? So something that could be private for a while might eventually come to light or might be exposed because the site itself might be hacked. Um, so I have to trust the browser, I have to trust my ISP, um, I have to trust the site, or another way to think about it is I wanna keep things secret from the browser or from the ISP or from the site. Um, because you have to think about who am I trying to keep this information hidden from. So if I'm trying to keep it hidden from a friend or from somebody else that uses my computer, it might be sufficient to just hide it from the browser so that they don't see it in my search history or something like that. That person is probably not necessarily going to go to my ISP, although if I connect to a wireless router, 
they might operate that wireless router. And so, you know, if you've, your parents might have software that's tracking your internet activities in order to make sure that, you know, you're safe online and not going to sites that they don't, um, they don't agree with. So, you know, because of there are so many actors on the internet, the idea of being able to do anything in private on the internet is, is kind of tough. I mean, anything you do online is probably going to expose some amount of information. And you have to hope or trust various parts of this ecosystem to keep that information secure, to forget about it if you told them to, or not to expose it in some sort of bad way. So, you know, a site being hacked or things like that. Um, but the idea of privacy online, I think, is, 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 is quite, quite tough. Um, most of the things that you do online with enough time and resources can be traced back to you.